In this video, we're going to talk about Infobase and how you can quickly use Infobase to add more context to your prompt and get higher quality output that gets you the unique assets you need in less time. So here's how it works. In your home dashboard, in the left-hand menu, just click Infobase. Then up in the right-hand corner, you can click Add Info. Then we will name the Infobase entry. So in this case, we'll name it GTM Bloat. GTM Bloat is, um, is a term that refers to all of the inefficiencies that have accumulated within a go-to-market approach over the past uh, you know decade or so. That's too much tools, misalignment across teams. There's no shortage of bloat right now in go-to-market. But this would be something if we wanted that workflow to understand what GTM bloat and the causes of GTM bloat would be, um, but we didn't want to type it out every single time we talk about that, we would use an Infobase entry. And this is where we store and gather information about our product, our brand, about a niche, basically anything that we want to call into prompts that we don't want to keep retyping over and over. So we have here GTM bloat, that's what we're gonna do. If we had a document, let's say we had a PDF explainer or a blog post about this, we could save it as a PDF and upload that document, or we could enter the text directly. So I have copied some text, I will paste that in here, and this explains what is GTM bloat, and it starts talking about the four different, uh, at least it gives four specific examples of GTM bloat. We could make this way more uh, extensive and add more examples, but for today we'll keep it very simple. We click save, and now I will show you how you can pull this up in an actual workflow. All right, in the last video, this was the workflow that we looked at. And it goes from a keyword all the way down to a long form blog post, an SEO friendly blog post. If we wanted, though, to add context, let's say about GTM bloat, that we just loaded up, all we would have to do is go here and add it to the prompt. So we would click hashtag go down to Infobase, but rather than scrolling through all of them, we would just start typing the name, GTM Bloat. You can see we have various Infobase entries to choose from if we wanted this one. And I might say, uh, be sure to touch on all the aspects of GTM Bloat in each post. Now you'll notice, this is just a very simple example of how you might use Infobase to add context to your prompt, this is adding information, but if we wanted to add style or language type things, in chat we would be able to use brand voice, but with workflows, Infobase really is your best solution. And what would you do is take a bunch of examples. Uh, so for example, you'll notice if I hit hashtag examples, we have these content brief examples, we have example content from Copy AI, we have example editorial guidelines. We have all of these examples that we use to train our workflow on the style of output that we want back. It's essentially a way to train it on the brand voice that we want based on existing copy. So we would create an Infobase entry the exact same way that we just did. We head over here to Infobase, add a new one, name it, and then either upload the document or copy and paste text directly in. And then you could say, and this is something that we actually do with our long form content. We say something along the lines of be sure to include language from again that little hashtag to pull it up and the name of whatever you want to use. So we have specific language for our category that we want to use in every post. We want to beat that drum as hard as we can. So we will add that in Infobase. And rather than adding all of those words and terms and this type of style we want it to be written in, in the prompt at every single time we run this. Instead, we can just add it to Infobase, call that Infobase up with a hashtag, and then it will give the context to the prompt.